Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, I will be talking about what is cache and persist in PySpark. So, before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel, Geek Coders, and here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, SQL, Python, and so on. So, if you are liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. Now, let me go back to my notepad. Here I have written the definition of cache and persist methods. So these two methods are used in Spark to provide an optimization mechanism to store the intermediate computation of a Spark data frame. So they can be reused in the subsequent actions. So sometimes what happens, we have a large amount of data and we do not want to recompute the same data again and again. So so that you know it will take a lot of time so what we do instead we we cache that data frame or data in in the memory or in some different memory either it is ram or it is for some other memory and then we use the same result in our subsequent task is task or action because we can see so when you persist a data each node stores its partition data in memory and reuses them in other actions on the data set. Sparks persistent data on nodes are fault tolerant. What are the advantages of these? It is time efficient, what I you know told you before, and cost efficient. So if you try to run the same code again and again, you know it will impact on cluster. If it is impact on cluster, then it will impact on cost also. That's why it is cost efficient and if we run anything, it will take a lot of time. So that's why it is time efficient. The method cache is same as persist. So persist storage level dot memory and disk. So by like when you do a cache, it will save uh, the data into the memory and disk into the memory and disk. When you do persist, it will save we have another option to save the data at different storage level like memory only, only memory and disk and disk only and so on if you want to remove the cache or clear the cache you can use unpersist to clear the save data or like to clear the cache something like that now cache or persisting of spark data frame or data set is a lazy operation meaning a data frame will not be cached until you trigger an action okay so now let me go back to a uh, data bricks here i am using two two data uh, data set you can see we have one that is book and book one dot csv and second one is fill any dot csv now let me write a simple code spark dot read dot csv and let me first pass this let me use here option method also and header make it to okay i am running this okay let it not run oh so, something is wrong Yeah, so there was some error with the cluster. So I fixed it and now you can see the data. It is not cached, cache till now. So for cache, I have to use here cache methods. Okay. And I have to use or fire an action. So count is an action. Now you can see this four returns. That is fine. Now let me go to in here and let me go to storage option over here. Ding, ding, ding. You can see I have used cache and you can see the file path is file store tables fill any dot csv storage level is disk memory size in memory is 7520 byte and size on disk disk is zero for now okay this is zero 
okay now i want to okay now i am using this path okay i am using this path and here let me use df1 df1 and instead of cache i use here persist and here let me write import import pyspark and here also i write pyspark dot storage storage level dot disk underscore only let me run this disk only that is i spy dot storage level i guess l should be in capital letter let me run this now it got succeeded now if i click on this click on view and if i go back to the storage option over here i used i used book 1.csv okay if you can see here inside in memory i did not get any bytes over here but instead i have my data inside on disk memory and here also if you can see storage level is disk serialized okay so that is the difference between you know cache and persist you can specify different uh, different option over here like memory only this is the right so you can just go to google and search it and then you can uh, write down over here now i want to unpersist this so what you need to do do not do anything just write df dot unpersist persist sorry my keyboard is bit behaving weird now and persist okay that is done and likewise you can do df1 dot and persist okay that is done now this is what in pi spark suppose you are using spark sql you want to do the same thing how would you do so simple right cache table table name okay this is the table name and right options in options right storage level and here right let's say i am using disk only method Okay. Again, I am using this one, and uh, here I right, select one. Okay, let me do this. Now you can see I have I have cached the table, and table name is this. now this is the caching okay like this is the persist persist kind of thing because i have specify here the specify here the storage level if i remove this and if i change the table name it will become the cache okay by default the cache is the memory and disk in data frame and data set now what if if you want to if you want to uncache the table simple right uncache 
table and then table name. Use here percent sequence. Just run this. Now, if you want to clear all the cache, then just write clear cache and use percent sequence. Sometimes, so see, this is present on cache table. So since this table cache table was present, so it did not fail. If I try to run it again, it will throw an error. Okay, it is not throwing an error. That is fine. Uh, yeah. So that is clear cache, and uh, this is cache creating a cache or persisting in Spark SQL, and this is for the PySpark thing. So I hope you have cleared this concept, like you understood it correctly. And uh, if you do, do like and share with your friends so that you know everyone will get benefit. And hope like going forward, I will add uh, add here broadcast variable accumulator how to join how to join two tables like large table and a small table using broadcast joins and shorts short merge join and so on so like watch this video from the starting if you haven't watched it like i have uploaded around 30 to 35 videos till now so we start from the beginning then we will you know we will learn easily the spy spark and spark things and even databricks also and yeah thank you